Also tonight, the search for answers in the scandal that forced the head of the CIA out of office. During meetings this week, members of Congress will be asking plenty of questions about David Petraeus and his relationship with his biographer, Paula Broadwell. Scott Thuman is live in the newsroom with the latest. Scott? Well, Maureen, another big day of developments on this one. Chair of the Intelligence Committee now says that they will hold an investigation into why members weren't told about the affair because they say it could have led to a breach of national security through blackmail or espionage, among other means. Though it is believed that none of that happened, this is exactly the kind of incident that will get top billing among many. Controversy tonight on Capitol Hill. Who knew what and when in the affair of David Petraeus and biographer Paula Broadwell? This all started uh, about two months after he was uh, in the CIA as the director. And just so you know, it also ended about four months ago. Significant because if it happened while still in uniform, he could be prosecuted. Further, did he share any classified information with Broadwell? This summer, she talked about routine access. I was entrusted with uh, this opportunity to sit in on high-level meetings with General Petraeus, listen to classified chatter of terrorist talk. Her reported email threats to Jill Kelly, who she feared was also close to Petraeus, prompted the entire investigation this summer. Then two weeks ago, an FBI source tipped Representative Eric Cantor off. But should others have known, like the president or intelligence committee, who supposedly weren't told till after Election Day? With regard to the timing, I, yeah, right, uh, it's mysterious. Uh, I really don't have insight into it. Well, if there's no effect of the uh, affair on national security, I, I think we need to move on. Move on, he says, by investigating the attacks in Libya. Petraeus was to testify Thursday. Now he's out, although members suspicious of the timing of it all say they have plenty of questions for the former director and may do so soon behind closed doors. Now, one justice official said that there's a long-standing Justice Department policy not to share information from a criminal investigation to anyone outside the department, including the White House and Congress, unless national security is involved. And by late October, they'd already determined that there was no security breach, that the only possible criminal act here was those harassing emails. Gordon.